Hello, Comrade fans, and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today, I'm very excited to finally have this in my collection. It just recently came out, or at least this version of it did, and this is the Legend Rider series V-Buckle from Kamen Rider Ryuki. So this is part of the kind of basic belt line that Bandai's done for a couple of years, but they've kind of brought it back recently. Uh, they, a couple months ago, made one for Kuga and for Ichigo. I have the Ichigo one. It's actually pretty nice. And basically, these are about $30-ish belts, and they actually are getting a U.S. release, but this is the Japanese release of it, because you do get the Japanese release a little bit faster, and I was just able to throw this into my HLJ order, and it already wasn't too expensive as it is. So basically, they take these Comrade belts from the past, and they kind of remake them into a cheaper format, uh, so that way you can have kind of another chance of having some version of it for your collection. So it's not necessarily, by any means, like a direct re-release of the one from 2002 or even some of the other Legend ones that they've released over the years. And it's definitely not as good as the CSM or anything like that, but I think some of these belts in this line work. Like, I think Ichigo's isn't bad. I think this one's definitely perfect. But ones like Forze, where you can't remove the Astro switches and stuff like that, I don't think are really worth it. But for the V-Buckle from Yuki, which is already a very simple belt as it is, I think this is perfect. So I've always wanted a V-Buckle for my collection. I do have the Dragonite version of the V-Buckle, uh, which I actually did a video on a couple of months ago when I did my Togu Toy Lines video on Dragonite. But I finally have one for Ryuki, one of my all-time favorite Rider series ever. So I'm very excited to have this in my collection. So as you can see here, you have the new Bandai Namco logo and everything because this did just release like early July of 2022. Like it's pretty new. And then we also have, of course, Ryuki and Knight there because basically, even though it looks like you might get two advent decks, you actually just get one. You get one advent deck with a swappable plate to make it Knight's version or Ryuki's version. And then you get four advent cards, two for Knight and two for Ryuki. And we're gonna show off everything that this does uh, because it actually does quite a bit, but also because of the fact that the V-Buckle is already simple, it does everything it needs to do. So you just have the two riders there. So you have Ryuki symbol on that side. You have Ryuki right there with the V-Buckle. On the top, you just get another look at the belt and the deck, Ryuki and Knight. On the back here, you have that it takes, uh, I think it just takes like those sub batteries, the LR44s, but they do come included. So it takes two of them, it looks like two or three, I think, um, but they do come included, like I said. And there's everything you get, so the four cards, the little deck, uh, the actual belt straps, all that kind of stuff. And it just shows you how to put the cards in the deck and how to use the belt if you don't know how to do that. And uh, I've already taken this out of here. That's just an empty box. So let's go ahead and bring in the V-Buckle and take a look at what this has to offer. All right, so here's everything you get out of the box here. And I also brought in some friends, the Soto Chronicle, Ryuki, and Knight figures. Those are obviously not included. They're just kind of here to be desk decoration, basically, So uh, because those figures are awesome. So here's everything you get out of the box. So first of all, here is the straps. I think these are the same ones that the uh, Ichigo belt came with, if I'm not mistaken. They're never going to fit me, but they're not like a typical rider belt uh, strap to where there's like the latches for the sides. So what's actually interesting about that is that since there is no like latches for this on either side, it is just like a belt loop back here. So if you just have like a regular belt, you can just slide that through uh, and you actually might be able to wear it in that capacity, but you're probably not going to be able to fit uh, the actual straps that it comes with, but at least you get them. I'll give them that. So obviously right when you have it out of here, there's no on and off switch or anything on this toy. There is just a little tab that you just pull. No activation sound or anything like that, but the toy is now technically on. And like I said, it came with batteries, so there's no lights or anything in this. Uh, it's just a very simple toy, but it looks nice. Like, I think it looks exactly like the V-Buckle. You can kind of see it on those figures right there. Uh, I actually like that it's not all chromed out like the original toy was because that actually never really was accurate. Uh, other versions have had this be a light, but like it doesn't really need to be. So I'm perfectly fine with that just being a nice red uh, paint application there. But like they got the design of it down. It looks exactly like you expect it to look like. It has a nice metallic silvery paint all over it. And I'm very happy with it. It's also very reflective. You can kind of see me right there in the uh, the black plastic there because it's very shiny. So we have that. And then here is the actual Ryuki Advent deck. So it's very nicely sculpted with this like raised detail for the symbol of Drag Redder there and the little designs. So it's a very simple Advent deck. It's very similar to the ones I'm sure they've released before, even though I never actually had an Advent deck in my collection before. It's obviously not gonna be as good as like the CSM one or anything. Uh, it kind of doesn't like to stay closed all that much, but you can just open it like that. And then you have the little springboard in there to put the advent cards in, which we'll do in a second. And then you can just close it up. And I mean, it, it stays closed, obviously, but like it does dangle a little bit. So nothing too crazy there. Here's the plate for night, which is basically like another black plate. It's maybe like a very dark, dark blue. Uh, there's like a light blue one for his like survive mode, but obviously you just have the regular version of night here. 
So there's Darkwing's symbol and the little designs there. And I'll show you how to switch this uh, when we actually start playing with all the sounds and everything. So here are the four advent cards that you get. Very kind of cheap printing. They're not the most like sophisticated cards, but just be careful with them so you don't like fray the edges and everything like that. Maybe put them in some card uh, protectors or something. But you get two for Ryuki and two for Knight. So you get Drag Rider, which is of course Advent. Uh, his Advent Beast, his Mirror Monster. So looks really nice. I mean, the design wise, it's you know perfect from the show. Same thing with the back where it says Advent card. So I really like that a lot. And then you get Ryuki's final vent. So there's that one. So, you know, no sword vent or strike vent or anything like that, but just like the, you know, the very basic ones, advent and final vents, it will do the job. Same thing for night. So you get Darkwing right here. Always love, love the designs on these. They just always looked super, super cool. So yeah. And then final vents as well, looking very cool. So now we can actually put these cards in the belt. So I will go ahead and there's a specific way to line this up. So let me do final vent for night last and then advent for night, final vent and advent. So we'll see, you'll see why I'm doing that in a second. So let's go ahead and open up the advent deck, take the cards and just carefully slide them all in there. It looks like it can pretty much only hold like these four. You don't really want to push it too much beyond that. Uh, you should probably only put like two in at a time. But we have all four cards in there, so now it's, you know, loaded up exactly how you would expect the Advent decks to look like. So what's really cool is that unlike the original versions of this toy and everything, you actually get the activation sound of when they hold this up to the mirror, and then, like, the belt materializes on their waist when you click this button. So let's go ahead and start the Henshin transformation sequence by clicking the button. So that is super cool. I love that a lot. And then you just line the deck up in there and push it in all the way. And there's that, that's the transformation for any of the Ryuki Riders, all 13 of them have the same kind of sound there. So now the reason why I put those cards in in that particular order is that you can pull a card out just like they would in the show. And as you do that, your thumb will probably bump this red button, or at least it should, and that will activate a sound that corresponds with the card if you put them in the correct order. So you get a very loud sound for the final vent. So that's really cool. And that's what I was gonna do right there too, is that if you just click it again, it resets back to advent and then final vent. So I'm gonna keep those two cards in there because next up we're gonna switch this to night mode. So when it defaults to Ryuki, which makes perfect sense, it's just always gonna be first the belt transformations, you know, sound on, which I think when you take the deck out, So when you take it out, it has that, uh, like, suit powering down noise. And then when you click it this again, it's always going to reset to that. So, and it's always going to be that regardless if there's a, you know, if there's no deck in there, it's always going to be that regardless if it's in Ryuki mode or night mode. But to actually turn this belt into night mode, you're going to hold down this button. So you hear a little bit of Darkwing there. And now we got to set the advent deck up. So basically you just kind of take it by the hinge and just kind of pull it off the hinges there. I am a little worried over time of how long that plastic tolerance is going to allow this to be swapped with constantly, but you just clip the deck uh, plate there and it doesn't necessarily match up color wise perfectly, but it's good enough. So we can put the Ryuki plate over there and then do the exact same things we just did for Ryuki, but now it will be in night mode.
and there you go. So that's it, really. I mean, that's everything that it does sound-wise and functionality-wise. But like I said, it's basic, but like, what else would it need to do, right? Like, it pretty much does everything you would imagine a Ryuki belt to do. It was already a very simple uh, driver back in the day as it is anyway. So my only complaint is that it just doesn't have all of the riders, obviously. I would love to have more decks there. I'd love to have more sounds in there and cards, but like, I get it for like the $30 that this thing costs. The fact that you can at least do Ryuki and you can at least do Knight is perfectly fine. So I highly recommend this though. If you are a Comrade Ryuki fan, if you don't want to track down the like multiple hundred dollar CSM that came out a couple years ago, or you don't want to try to track down the older ones that are not necessarily show accurate, I think this is a very show accurate looking belt that's very cheap, that does the bare minimum of Ryuki stuff, and I can highly recommend it for that. This is a perfect representation of the V-Buckle for my collection, and definitely uh, fulfills that a lot better than the Dragonite version did, even though that's fun for its own novelty. So, like I said, I highly recommend this. I will be putting an HLJ affiliate link down in the description below. I'm not sure if this is still in stock, but if that works, you can check that out to help out the channel. Or I think you can also still get the US release of this on Toe Collectibles, which that doesn't help me in any way, but it can help you. So <laughs> no affiliate link from Toe Collectibles or anything like that, just from HLJ. So I'd love to know your guys' thoughts about this down in the comments below. Are you picking up this belt? Are you going to get any of the ones in the Legend Rider line? Do you already have some of them? And which ones would you like to see Bandai make next? And which ones do you think would work the best in this line? So until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter at LiveNerdJerKey or LightningFigPR, and I'll see you all next time.